Did you know your angry feeling affects your eyesight a lot? Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi. In this video, we'll talk about how anger affects your eyesight and four ways to cope with anger. Most of us get angry once in a while. However, when you are angry at something or angry at somebody or even angry at yourself constantly, it affects your health in every possible way physically, mentally, and of course, emotionally. Physically, most of us notice that when we are upset or angry, we cannot digest foods well, our blood pressure goes up, we look awful, and many more. Mentally, chronic anger makes us suffer from mental exhaustion, mental tension, depression, resentment towards the source of the anger, etc. But did you know angry feeling also affects your eyesight? Some people show up their anger and then get over with it soon after. When you are angry, your vision gets blurry during those moments. However, if you are angry often or constantly, day after day, you might experience deteriorated eyesight as well as certain eye problems such as cataract, glaucoma, or even detached retina in the back of your eye. For some adults, they repress their anger. Study has shown that repressed anger can re-emerge as farsightedness, meaning cannot see up close, or presbyopia while having trouble reading small print and crossed eyes. Have you ever thought about the fact that the source of all anger is what you think about the situation? The fact is, aggravations do not make you angry. Hurtful attacking statements do not make you angry. Stressful situations do not make you angry. What makes you angry is the thoughts going through your mind, which turn painful and stressful situations into anger. Here are four ways to cope with anger. Number one, master relaxation skills. A good example of relaxation skill is deep breathing while visualizing a happy moment from the past. Try it. Number two, write down what makes you angry and the anger levels. Slightly annoying to middle range to blow up items. Knowing what they are helps to calm your angry feeling because you see the pattern in your thoughts. Number three, develop coping thoughts for frequently occurring sins which will simply remind you not to get upset. For example, your man or lady goes to a fancy party in an old t-shirt and jeans when you and others in the party dressed up very nicely for the occasion. Your coping thoughts would be, well, he just wants to dress comfortably, what can I say? He's kinesthetic type and I'm visual type, so the look is very important to me, but not to him. I'm pretty sure there are other areas where he wants me to be different. I'm just going to have a good time. Number four, make a specific plan for handling a situation so you have more control and feel less to no anger. For example, your husband doesn't remember your birthday and doesn't even say happy birthday to you in the morning and when he sees you in the evening. You are really angry at him thinking that he sets a reminder on his phone calendar for other people's birthdays, but not for his own wife's. Your plan. Perhaps he thinks he will not forget his own wife's birthday, so didn't program the reminder on his calendar and got really busy at work and totally forgot about it. Next time, Instead of having to test his memory and wasting my whole birthday waiting for him to do something nice, I'll remind him in the morning by singing, Happy birthday to me, happy birthday. Oops, I'm not a good singer. When you get angry next time, think about your eyes and turn around your thoughts.